now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Tenoyer. Well, Jeff, I know everyone's sense of time may be a little bit off this morning as they're waking up, rolling out of bed, but I'm hopeful that you got an hour of extra sleep last night, so I'm hopeful that you're extra well rested this morning. You know, Claudia, I'm just thankful I got some sleep because I was a bad boy. I stayed up late last night oh. and I went to the Havoc game. <gasps> Go Havocs. Beetlejuice. Yeah, I love the Beetlejuice theme. It was <laughs> awesome. They had such a good time, a good turnout, and they always bring it over there. Awesome. Uh, it's awesome stuff. But anyway, I did get some sleep. The extra hour, I don't, I don't know if it's really giving me a little extra boost this morning, but I, I, I like the fact that I have a beautiful sunrise to show you this morning, and this is in Brindley Mountain. And this time of year, it seems like all of our cameras have the furniture in the way. You know what I mean by that? Where the camera has to cut through the tower that it's on. But I got that little sunrise. It's always on time in the morning, and it looks good. Uh, in Huntsville right now, gorgeous glow with just a little cloud cover. And the theme here is plenty of sunshine, even though there's a little cloud cover to start the day. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s and a little cool. Once we pop that sunshine, it is game on temperature wise. And we get all the way up into the 70s, which this time of year for us is above average. Now the winds, they're turning a little bit more northerly today and not really a factor with speed, which is good because keep in mind, we already know we're in a drought. We know we haven't had much rain. We do a story almost every day on some kind of brush fire in the Tennessee Valley. That will be a threat again today, but the winds remain low, but the days ahead gets a little breezy and that could be a problem. So the frontal boundary is moving through and as it does, it's turning your winds to the north and doesn't really bring any cooler air in. It's just kind of a wind shift and a little cloud cover and out of here. But as we progress into the rest of the week, our winds go from north to southwest, ushers in even warmer air from Monday, Tuesday, and the temperatures get up to near 80 degrees. But notice the numbers go up. So if your winds are like 10 to 15 miles an hour, dry conditions, uh, dry air mass in place, lots of sunshine, you spark a fire and that wind fans it, it becomes a big problem. And I think the fire danger will stay a problem right through the middle of the week. So clouds this morning, move them on out. Here's your gorgeous afternoon sunshine. Pick your location. It should say 70 or higher, and it does. We go into Sunday night into Monday and just a gorgeous night. I mean, temperatures around 50 when you wake up tomorrow and then getting up into the 70s, a slight chance that a few locations could maybe nudge 80 degrees on Monday, but I still think the better chance of going 80 is going to be on Tuesday or Wednesday, and that's when you start flirting with daytime high records. I mean, we've gone from high record temperatures to low temperature records back to high temperature records, and we've done this all in 10 days. Welcome to the Tennessee Valley. Rainfall comes at the end of the week, Thursday night into Friday, and we need it. That will drop the temperature for next weekend for Veterans Day. Temperatures around 60 degrees.